Hey YouTube fam and welcome back to Average Guy DIY. Today we are hooking up a unique lamp from Home Trends. These lamps are also available at your local Walmart. Stay tuned. So when you purchase this lamp, it comes with a few parts, starting with 12 long pieces of wood and 4 short pieces of wood, followed by 3 square rectangular pieces. Then it comes with a bunch of small parts that were in a bag, and I set these all aside within one of these squares. Within this rectangle, you have the actual light bulb socket and cord. Then last but not least, the lampshade. So the very first step is to screw 12 of these screws into the bottom of the long pieces of wood. After you're finished, it should look something like this. Then you want to grab one of the rectangles, whichever one you're using for the bottom. You want to have it facing up towards you, and that's going to be the very bottom of the lampshade and put one black screw in each corner. When you're done, you'll notice the screws will look like this, and they'll be flush on the other end. Next, you choose four of the tall legs, and you start screwing everything together. Next, you grab another rectangular square and place it accordingly. Then you grab another set of four of the long wooden legs, and you repeat the previous process. Half of the structure should now be built. Now you just repeat the previous process and enjoy it all coming together. When you're installing the wooden rectangle for the light bulb, make sure not to forget these small wooden inserts. This is going to help keep the lampshade in place. Before placing this rectangle square, make sure the light bulb insert is in. For the last extension, you're going to use the short wooden legs. Now this lampshade is a tough cookie. You do have to play around with it and stretch it out a bit. Now this is where those small wooden pieces that we put in the four corners come in handy because they're going to keep the lampshade in place. Then you're going to take the extra screws that are left over and use them to screw the last short wooden legs in place. Then you place these wooden stoppers over the screw holes. If you had a rubber mallet, you would hammer these down. And that's it. The final step is to put the double-sided sticky turf uh, pieces on the bottom to protect the ground. Oh yeah, and don't forget this little guy. It needs to be screwed in to keep the light socket in place. And that's it. Look at that lamp shelf. It is a beauty. As always guys, thanks so much for watching. If this video was helpful, make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned to Average Guy DIY.